Hey, it's Matt with American Powertrain, and we're back at Kurt's Corner. Real quick, we're going to show you the differences between a stock LS1 T56 and a Magnum internals. So Kurt's back here. He's going through uh, Tim King's T56 LS1 out of his Chevelle, which originally came out of a 2000 model Camaro. And we've got some Magnum parts back here, too, and we're going to show you uh, some of the subtle but yet wild differences in a magnum and a standard oe six speed so first we got input shafts so this is the input shafts right here and kurt if you'll yeah this, show me the you can show some of the differences here ls1 and this is your magnum you'll see the biggest difference is the thickness of the actual input shaft and the size of the bearing uh, obviously the magnum is a lot heavier duty unit much bigger bearing much bigger bearing way yeah. bigger bearing and that it's kind of the theme as it carries across so over here we have the this is the main shaft this is the magnum main shaft so this is the output where the yoke goes on the back and on the magnum it's 31 spline and this one's 27 spline and you can see how much larger the shaft is over here is the uh, gears cluster set so you have first second and third gear and you can see about 20% larger in diameter. Yeah, you can really see how wide the Magnum is versus the stock OE T56, look at that. So this is basically the difference between 400 foot-pounds of torque, 700 foot-pounds of torque. That's the big dramatic difference between a Magnum and a regular T56. So when you upgrade one of these, you're still gonna be at the limit of the size of your gears and things like that. You upgrade one of these, you can really step it up. <clears throat> So over here is the counter shaft, right? Yes, counter shaft. This is the Magnum counter shaft. It's all one piece. It's all one piece design. And of course the LS is a, is a two piece design. And uh, they have been known to shear the teeth off in here and cause problems and chatter as they get worn. So obviously a one piece design is much stronger than a two piece design for your counter shaft. But you can see the, go see which, which gears are which on this one here. So these are your overdriven gears on top of the main shaft gears basically right right these are your your counter shaft gears they would ride here with these actually right, right there right you have first second third and then fourth out here with the input and then you have your overdrive gears fifth and sixth on a magnum are splined all the way and they're two piece versus the ls1 which is a one piece and it just that's that's all the splines that it's not enough spline engagement holds either. that that's that's part of the reason why it has a lower torque rating right and you can change fifth and sixth out if you need a custom gear it's easier doing a magnum if you want to change out your gears yeah. you can change out your final overdrive there easy so that was just a real quick down and dirty video while we had everything apart just wanted to kind of show you some of the differences between a oe style six speed and a tremic magnum aftermarket style six speed a lot of differences a lot more upgrades you can do to a magnum but if you need anything like that give us a call and we'll uh, help you out thanks everybody